Welcome back. This morning, we're kicking off our Spring Has Sprung week with refreshing DIY decor tips. Trends from Etsy trend expert Dana Isom Johnson. Great to have you Hello. with us. Dana, guess what? I always get very excited when it's rubber glove time. Yes. <laughs> Crafty Kelly, okay. here she comes, so, everybody. We're going to kick it off with Easter crafts, all right? Yeah, Easter now, crafts. Now, if you can see here, this is a fun little bunny napkin that uh. you can make. So it's very, very Peter simple. It's, that's right. It's so simple. You take your cotton napkin, okay. you fold it in half, mm. and then you just go up like so. And then that's the makings of your little that's, bunny. That's so oh, easy. And then yeah. you and then you you use the twine to tie twine. it off. And that button is just a jewelry bead, a wooden jewelry bead oh, for the nose. You, for you, yeah, exactly for the nose. That's so very simple, cute. very whimsical cute. touch. I love it. Yeah. Okay. Very cute. So now for your table, I want you to pull out your candlestick holders, and now you're going to repurpose it and just add a cute little wood craft egg on top, and you can paint it. You just yes. paint it. You can paint it, you can add stripes, you can add dots, whatever it is, and you put it right on top. Now, the great thing about this is that you don't want to glue this down because you want to be able to use your candlestick holder again. Right. So you just. I thought those were real eggs until I picked you know, it up. Don't bite that. I heard, I heard that Martha Stewart actually has wooden hens that <laughs> lay well. Oh, of course. Why wouldn't Martha have that? <laughs> of course. All right, so now we're going to take it and make a. Uh, bun a bunny either scenery or like gumball machine. Amazing. Now here's what's great about this. This is literally a 99 cent little flower pot that you get from the, the craft store or the dollar store. And this is a terracotta pot that I just painted. Huh? You put it upside down. You don't say. You put that in there. Or you can Watch. make a gumball machine. So, so you can put, oh, there it is. This is the trick. There. This is the trick of, of lipstick with the robin egg. Is there it? Just yes. do it. Well, you can also put the candy in there. Oh, what a scene. What a scene. No, make it pretty. And then that you can put the top on. So the top is literally just like the bottom. No, no, no. Don't you know the, like the world of here. crafts? It's so in vogue to go fast. Yeah. It's really And then you pop, See put that on the top. And this is just a, a um, another would be that you glue on the top. Oh, that's so cool. But when you're finished, reuse the pot to, to put a plant in there. Absolutely. Okay, now, for folks who are not necessarily into the pastel colors of Easter, okay. and you want a bit more modern take, Something natural these are looking. just wooden jewelry beads that you can stack on top, and then you put a little piece of uh, greenery or some beads and on the top, so cute. and that creates a modern bunny family. And you just glue it with hot glue to make them stick together. Oh, look at the family! Yeah, here. there's a the little bunny family. They're celebrating you're Easter so together. So creative! Yeah. Yeah. This is great stuff. All right, more with Dana when we come back. Some more ideas after the break. Oh. I love getting crafty here with you, Kelly. It's I fun. know. We are the learning a lot. Sprung, okay. Right? So, uh, Dana, what's yeah. next? What can we... Okay, so one thing that I, that is one of the top trends that we just announced in our trend, our home trend guide is all about texture. Mm. Because we've been advised to not touch, to not hug for so oh, long. Oh, now we want to feel that it all, now right? in our homes, we want to feel the feel texture. That. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so this is an ombre box here. Here. So the first one up there is the finish option. This is something super popular. We've seen a 40% increase on Etsy on searches for ombre or gradient art. So the way that you do ombre, okay. you always start light first. Light so, first. Light first. You work your way to dark. No so, kidding. Yeah, because you want to make sure that you're spreading it out and the heaviest is on the bottom. Uh -huh. So when you have your white craft box, you start with the white, you move down to the, the heavier Most palette. Most people know that. I didn't know that. Well, she learned today. I she thought, learned today. I thought for sure you would start dark no. and go up. No, you start you start light. So then to finish this off, you'll just take hot glue and a silk flower that I've already pre-cut. So you just take the stem off from the craft store, you pop it on top. You can use it for anything around the house. All right, let's move okay, it along. Okay, so now we've got a shadow box I've, here. I've gone into the craft and now <laughs> yes. I can't let's get out. So we've got a shadow box here. Another super popular trend is all about pressed or preserved flowers. A 178% increase in searches for pressed flowers. Now, this huh, is a great tip for Mother's cool. Day. Mm -hmm. There's also birth flowers, which is a, an emerging trend. Oh, Every month cool. has a birth flower. Is that I true? I didn't know that. That is true. Oh, Kelly, you out. actually share my mom's birthday. October 2nd. Yes. So that's the marigold. Oh. Yeah. I so, thought it would be a pumpkin. 
No, no. Is so, a pumpkin a flower? <laughs> Sometimes. <No. laughs> All right. So we're going to keep it moving again with that texture here. This is a pot. You use a terracotta pot. You can uh, paint over top of it. And then you add these dowel sticks. And you, I mean, people cool. pay a lot yeah. of money for that. Right. But you can. We're running tight on yes. time. Okay. So thank you for being here. Yes. We'll put more information and the rest of this on KellyRyan.com. And we'll and be right back. I'll finish my ombre. Have fun. Want to know more? Just go to our website.